Hi, so we're going to go through how to make uh, characters retargeted using the retargeting tools in Unreal Engine 5. Uh, I'm James Simpson, I'm a director of Copper Candle. Uh, we do lots of mocap work and we do lots of animation work, so this is a really great tutorial for people who want to have a go at trying to do animation. I'm going to break this down to four lessons. The first lesson, we're going to do an overview of how all the structure of it works, what all the nodes are, what all the maps are, how the different blueprints connect to each other. In the uh, second lesson, we're going to actually do the retargeting and the chain mapping, which is uh, a very important part of the process. And it's a new tool in Unreal, which um, you, you know, might not have used before. You might have used Motion Builder or something else. So this is another way of getting your data in. Um, and then the third lesson is going to be seeing how that gets deployed onto a real-time mocap character in Unreal Engine. So we're going to bring some live mocap data in and make that work. And in the fourth lesson, we're going to do the same thing but on a, uh, a pre-recorded animation. So we're going to take animation data for um, uh, from a completely different character that was made for a different character and retarget it into the baked um, animation for the for the new character. The reason why this might be important is if you're downloading mocap packs from the marketplace or from anywhere else, um, when you bring it into Unreal, you lose the, uh, the ability to move it onto your own character. It's it's made for the first character and you have to retarget it and, and re-import it all into the new character. So we're gonna go through that in the, in the fourth lesson. So I'm gonna start off by explaining to you how all of this works um we're going to jump over to a little map here so we can start at the end it's easier to to figure this out from the from the from the end so we've got our two objectives here in lesson three we're going to figure out how to make a real-time mocap character uh so that's going to be a character that just plays uh, with uh, mocap data it could be any character you can bring your own in um, i'm going to use some that i found on the marketplace which i know works so we're going to start with those uh, and then the same thing for doing animation now, I'm just going to stick to the mocap one just for the second because that's easy to explain. First thing you need to go into this is your character blueprint. You'll always have one of these in, in both, both situations. Uh, the difference is with this one, you need an animation blueprint, which is going to bring in your live link data from your mocap source. Uh, at this point, everything's fairly standard. So you can bring live link data into a standard uh, character. But if you've got your own custom character, you may want to use the retargeting tool, which is why you're probably reading these videos. Then we go back from there in the animation blueprint, we need to have added a retargeting asset. This is the thing that's new. We need to build a chain map for the bones. And we're gonna go through that in a second. And we're gonna start right at the beginning with how do you actually bring in your, uh, your meshes? So we've got two sources here. One is our character that we want to put the animations onto. So we're gonna bring that in. We're gonna create an IK rig for it, retarget it. So we can go into our chain mapping and then we're going to bring in um, some FBX of animations, which uh, is only really relevant if you're doing baked animation. But the idea is that you need to have a source character, the character that you're retargeting from. And that then goes into um, the new character uh, that gets converted for your final model. Uh, the point is, is that if you are bringing in uh, mocap data from something like Perception Neurons Axis software, which is what I'll be doing, Axis Studio, that data needs to come in onto a model that it already understands. So there's a standard Perception Neuron robot, or there may be the, the default Unreal Engine mannequin, which a lot of animations come in as. We can get the information to run on that asset, but how do you get it to play onto your own? That is the whole point of this pipeline. We're bringing it all across onto the new character. And the same goes for putting it into baked animations, exactly the same process is involved. But at this point, we break away, we no longer need to do chain mapping. Uh, so we do need to do chain mapping, we no, no longer need to do live retargeting, what we need to do is retarget all of the animation data in one go, <coughs> straight into uh, a new folder, which is going to be then loaded into your new character. So with that, we're going to go into the, uh, the the second lesson where we're going to explain how this all works and uh, just to make sure we're all on the same page you need Unreal Engine 5.1 that's what I'm going to be working on I have some assets on the marketplace and something I've downloaded from CG Trader which you know you're welcome to follow along with if you want to get them if you can get them for free or if you have to pay for them but you can use any assets you want if you've got your own project the process should be exactly the same um, i'm also going to be using axis studio for perception neuron to get the live link motion capture data in but you could also use motive for optitrack systems or bicon systems capture 
you know, Rococo, whatever you're using, Xsense. So all that data coming in will be the same. Uh, it'll be the same principles. You just need to reapply what I'm going to be teaching to your own character rig. Okay, well, let's move on to the second lesson.